I'm gonna show you an easy way to remember your IP and MCP joint mobilizations. In order to do this, we need to understand which surface is convex or concave. So I'm gonna be teaching you three joint mobilizations, and that's gonna be at the DIP joint, the PIP joint, and the MCP joint. Now, when we think about our joint surfaces, remember a convex surface is that male surface. It's rounded or arched, and the concave surface is female. It's hollowed or shallow. So when we look at the distal phalanx, we can see that we have both the head and the base. The head of the surface is going to be convex and the base of the surface is going to be concave. You can do that same pattern for your distal phalanx, your middle phalanx, and your proximal phalanx, all right? So this makes it easy. Let's go back and review those three joint mobilizations. So because a concave surface is moving on a convex surface, we're gonna be moving in the same direction that the joint surface is. So meaning, if we want to provide extension, we're gonna do a dorsal glide. And if we want flexion, we're gonna do a palmar or roller glide. And again, this rule works for the DIP, PIP, and MCP joints.